you want to finish well in your calling let the word of God marinate humility in you because without that humility you won't last long because if you're not humble you'll become impatient and you will fall to all kinds of temptations along the way instant solutions offered to you by the devil because you don't have the patience to wait for God's way God's time to meet your need and desire so haste makes waste Pastor, I've been praying for 20 years. So what? Moses waited for 40 years. <laughs> In the wilderness. Waiting for his destiny para siyang natabi. 40 years. You know what he learned in the wilderness? Two things. Humility and patience. Taking care of those animals. You know, Bedouin shepherds of Israel call sheep or lambs the dumbest animals on earth. Because they easily go astray. Okay? So, for you to be an effective shepherd, you have to be patient with the animals. Baka mami, gawin mo siya ng pagkain sa sobrang impatience mo. Imbis na pangalagaan mo, kainin mo na lang para wala ka ng problema. <laughs> you understand that? Takes a lot of patience to be a shepherd. And he was a prince in Egypt, the son of Pharaoh's daughter, educated in all the wisdom and knowledge of Jesus, according to Stephen in Acts chapter 7. And he became the despised shepherd. Forty years! Can you imagine how that affected the sense of identity? From a prince, great in words and deeds, the suddenly you're nobody. What was God teaching Moses? Humility. And what was he teaching him through the taking care of animals for 40 years? Patience. And those two were absolutely necessary qualities and qualifications he will need for the last 40 years of his life and he leads Israel out of Egypt because the people he will be leading will prove themselves more problematic than the sheep and goats. If he's not trained in humility and patience, baka simula pa lang sumuko na siya. That is why God loves to delay the answer to your needs and desires because he's more focused on building character in you. And then when the Answer comes, para incentive na lang sa'yo, magpatuloy ka. Pero hindi yan ang aking main business. Ang main business ko is to mold your character. If you want to be useful in my hands, I have to keep dealing with your character. Do you understand this? Amen?